All right, hello everybody and welcome. Thank you so much for coming along to our virtual cooking experience. Let's make sure my camera's on. My name is Chelsea McGill. For those of you that don't know me, I am a business development manager. I live in Bunyip um, in Victoria. Uh, and I have a branch of amazing team leaders and consultants that span around the area that we're in, heading towards Gippsland, but we actually have people that are located all around Victoria and a couple throughout Australia as well. Um, I was a Thermomix consultant for three and a half years and I was a Thermomix team leader for three years. And then last year I did get the job as a business manager. So don't actually do cooking experiences anymore. Um, I do work with team leaders and consultants instead. But tonight I am running a cooking experience for my branch to help support all of my amazing team leaders and consultants. So thank you so much for coming along to join us tonight. We have quite a few of you that don't yet own a Thermomix, so really excited to show you what it can do. And for those of you that already have a Thermomix, really excited to help you learn some new tips and tricks to make sure you are getting the most out of your Thermomix. If you did invite some friends along tonight, please make sure that you have let your consultant know um, and hopefully they have already touched base with you. If you haven't heard from someone, please reach out just so we can make sure everything's good to go for those that are going to be eligible for our host rewards. Um, so I'd love to know, pop in the chat and let me know whereabouts you're watching from tonight and do you currently have a Thermomix? I would love if you guys could interact with me tonight. I'm going to ask questions and I'd love if you could answer them either in the chat with your consultant or in the chat here with me tonight. Um, and please feel free to ask as many questions as you like. Pop them in the chat and I'll try my best to answer them live or one of our amazing consultants um, will answer them in the chat if I don't get a chance to. So thank you again for coming along. Um, really excited to see you tonight and we are going to get into it. All right. So again, welcome to our open cooking. This is a chance for us to show you how amazing our TM6 is and for those of you that already have one to learn some new tips and tricks along the way. Um, so I've told you a little bit about me so far. I have actually owned a Thermomix for about 10 years. I did purchase my first Thermomix way back in 2013. I did have the TM31. I've just seen Stacey's borrowing a friend. I love that, Stacey. Um, I did purchase a Thermomix in 2013, had the TM31, which I now have dinosaur. It's a very trusty Thermomix, though, um, but we have come a long way since then. I then had a TM5, and now I do have a TM6. Um, I absolutely love my Thermomix. It is something that helps me so much in my day-to-day -day life, and I just don't know how I would live without it. Um, you may pick up on those vibes along the, the night as well. Uh, also, I'm loving seeing where you're all from. Keep those coming for me, guys. Um, so I'd love to know what bore you along tonight. <laughs> and as I said, either answer with your consultant or pop it in the chat here and let me know what interested you in coming to our cooking experience tonight. You all may have different reasons and that's fine, but we'd love just to get to know you a little bit better and find out a little bit about you and what interested you in coming along. While we're at it, I'd love to know if anyone has any allergies or intolerances. Obviously, I'm not cooking for you guys to eat tonight, but love to know if you have allergies or intolerances or even in your household for people that you are cooking for. All right, so over here we have our beautiful TM6. So this one here is our latest model Thermomix and it truly is our best Thermomix yet. So our TM6 is about three years old and it, um, as I said, really is the best Thermomix yet. Been around for a few years now and it is an incredible machine. It is Wi-Fi connected or a smart connected cooking appliance. And through your Wi-Fi, you can access Cookie Do, which is our recipe platform, which you're going to hear me talk a lot, excuse me, a lot about tonight. Um, Cookie Do has over 80,000 recipes all around the world available on the screen of your Thermomix, in your Cookie Do app, and also on the Cookie Do website. So it is an incredible platform to help you with your meal planning, your shopping list, your product inspiration and we will touch on that again tonight um also through your wi-fi connectivity you can actually download uh it will do software updates so it will continue to run at its best capabilities just like your iphone does or your computer does these days and another amazing thing is as well it has the ability to download new cooking modes so when we swipe across here we can see our cooking modes we have over 20 different modes and functions in our tm6 when you have a look at our mode screen here, we actually have seven new cooking modes um, be available to download absolutely free since the TM6 launched three years ago. So it is actually an appliance that is going to get better with age, which is amazing. 
Um, our newest one is our uh, slicing and our grating with our new cutter attachment. So they, that does have its own mode. And I'm really excited to show you how our new cutter works tonight. I'm going to show you how you can incorporate it into a regular Thermomix recipe um, and make your life that little bit easier. But those of you that did bring along two guests, including one non-owner, you will be eligible to get your hands on one of the including our beautiful cutter. And if you didn't bring any friends along tonight but you are interested in hosting your own cooking experience, please chat to your consultant or let us know in the chat box and we can definitely keep you up with that. Um, so your thermomix will get better with age, which is just amazing. Um, and it really is a smart connected cooking appliance. Now, on to a little bit more about you. So, again, helping your consultant or helping me get to know you a little bit better, I would love to know when it comes to food and cooking. Sorry, my light's shining on that. When it comes to food and cooking in general, what is most important to you? So we have healthy, simple, fun, creative, or saving money. Now, I'd love if you could pop in the chat box here or if you can and let us know what is most important to you when it comes to food and cooking, healthy, simple, fast, creative, or saving money. Again, just helping us get to know you a little bit better. And this also helps us to see how a Thermomix may be able to make your life easier. Or for those of you that already have a Thermomix, how it is making your life easier. Seeing lots of great answers here. A little bit of both depending on the day. I understand that. All of it, yeah. For me in our household, um, healthy is probably the biggest one for me. Saving money is also a big one. Always has been. For me, healthy really changed when I had kids. I've got two kids. They're now eight and six. But I did have a Thermomix when they were born and I realised how important it was to make preservative-free, you know, low-sugar food for them for a fraction of the cost. So healthy, over the years it's definitely changed, but definitely healthy for me and saving money. Now, normally we would dive a little bit deeper into that. I would love to know, you know, for those of you that said fast, what's your ideal time spent in the kitchen? You know, are you someone who likes to have a dish done in less than 30 minutes? Are you someone who likes to spend, you know, 45 an hour? Let us know in the chat box. If you did say healthy, I'd love to know a little bit more about that as well. So what does healthy look like to you? I did say my version of healthy was, you know, going into our food, reducing the preservatives um, and those kind of things. Um, but I'd love to know if your definition of healthy is different because it is different for everybody. Tracy just said quick. Yeah, Tracy, what's your, what's your ideal time spent in the kitchen? And then saving money, if any of you said saving money, we'd love to know if, if you could save an amount each week off your grocery bill, or how much would you like to save a week? Let us know. So keep those answers coming, guys, because we will keep on reading those, uh, but I will keep moving. So what's included? The Thermomix is an all-inclusive purchase. It is 2359, and you do get all of these amazing things that you see here today. You are going to see me use quite a few of these as well. So we have our TM6, we have our Varoma up here. So we're not going to use our Varoma tonight, so I will tell you a little bit about it. Our Varoma is an amazing attachment. It's so versatile and it more than doubles the capacity of your Thermomix. So if you do have a big family or you love cooking for a crowd or cooking in bulk, the Varoma is a brilliant attachment to have and it is definitely included. It is so versatile. You can do like a whole leg of lamb, a whole chicken. You can do meat and veg, fish, just veggies. Um, you can even do steamed desserts and breads and things like that, which is amazing. You'll also get yourself a simmering basket, your splash guard, your spatula, your butterfly whisk, your measuring cup, and a hard copy of our basic cookbook. This is a really great cookbook. Um, it does have lots of beautiful tips in it as well. Then you will also get yourself a six-month subscription to Cookie Do That platform but we will touch on that again shortly now we do have payment options to suit everybody if that is what you choose to do and my favorite that you can actually do what we do and you can earn yourself a thermomix so this is an amazing way to get a thermomix on your bench without actually having to outlay the cost you can essentially earn it with just six sales in 60 days if you would like any more information on that we'd love to chat to you about that so please reach out to consult in the chat box we also have our interest-free finance, which is just $24.56 a week or $3.50 a day. Uh, now, I would love to know, is anyone out there buying takeaway coffee at the moment? I know takeaway coffee is, you know, maybe about 5 to $6 for a cup. And so if you are someone who is purchasing a couple of cups of coffee a week, that's great, isn't, you know. But if you were to think about it, $3.50 a day for a Thermomix is about four cups of coffee a week. So that's pretty crazy when you break it down with the interest-free finance. 
Um, along with earning your Thermomix, we do have, oh, there you go. Lucinda's just said sometimes buying three coffees. Yeah, and it's nice to go out and get a coffee every now and then, but when you think about it, you know, and you break down the difference, um, it is pretty easy to add up to cover the cost of your Thermomix. Uh, and with earning your Thermomix, um, we do also have the option for you to come on board and join our team as an owner. And you can come on and earn commissions straight away rather than earning your Thermomix if you do already have one. Um, or you can pop your new Thermomix on interest-free finance and come on as an owner and earn commission on top of that as well, which is an amazing way to do it. You do also have the chance to earn the new cutter, um, a second bowl, and some other amazing incentives as well. So, again, please let us know if you'd like any more info on that. We are going to dive straight into cooking now. So I'm just going to put that chart down and we are going to get into it. So I do want to make sure that you guys can see me. I'll see our thermo nice and clearly. So I'm just going to come in a little bit closer. I want to be able to make sure that you can see exactly what's going on. So tonight we are making our beef fajitas and our flour tortillas. So, and I'm gonna use our Thermomix cutter to cut up my onion and capsicum for the fajitas. So our TM6 has cookie dough, which we've been talking about. So I'm gonna click my three lines and I'm gonna go into my weekly planner. And this is going to show me what is on the menu in our house. Now, I absolutely love this because we get home from work, tired, whatever it may be, and you turn your thermo on and it's telling you what you are eating for dinner tonight. So it stops you resorting to takeaway or standing at the fridge trying to work out what to cook. I did get home from um, after school activities today and my hubby had turned the thermo on and he had started the recipe. I hadn't even told him what we were having for dinner, so that was great. So in our house tonight, we had tacos with vegetables and kidney beans. You see we've got the fajitas and the flour tortillas. Tomorrow night, we've got Cajun chicken schnitzels with slaw. Thursday, we've got a Mediterranean chicken. Um, we've got a lentil, lentil moussaka for next week. Uh, and we're going to have the beef fajitas tomorrow night. So that's one of the things I love about my job. I get to cook food and then feed my family. So I'm going to hit the flour tortillas button. Now, this is what we call guided cooking. You're going to see a lot of guided cooking tonight and hear me talk about it a lot. This is one of the biggest game changers if you do have an older model Thermomix or have seen an older model Thermomix. This is something that those models just don't have. Um, and this really is amazing. So there's 80,000 recipes from all around the world are all available on the screen of your Thermomix in our guided cooking, which is just brilliant. So we bring up our recipe and scroll my finger down, difficulty, prep time, total time, portion, ingredients, steps, nutritional value on all your recipes as well, which is fabulous. If that's something that you're interested in. Utensils and then hints and tips as well. So we're going to hit the start cooking button and it is literally going to walk us through step by step. So our first one is 500 grams of baker's flour. Now we've got built-in scales. So you'll see that number going up as I'm touching it, um, which is great. No need to dirty more cups, bowls, etc. This is the baker's flour that I like to use. So it's the Wallabies baker's flour. It's about $12 for five kilos. Um, and it's a much cheaper alternative than like the small pizza and bread flours. And if you have a Thermomix, you definitely probably have a bag of this in your cupboard already because it is brilliant and you do use it so quickly. Um, baking flour is different to plain flour. Baker's flour has a higher protein content, which means that it is stretchier. If you use plain flour for these recipes, um, they will tend to be a little bit um, more dense, not as soft. So we definitely recommend it. So I'm going to go in with my 500 grams. Once you eat these tortillas, you'll never go back to store-bought wraps. They are so delicious. They're so delicious. We actually um, make a full batch and we eat them for dessert as well with jam and um, cinnamon on them. They're absolutely beautiful. So if you haven't tried it, definitely give that a shot. I'm going to go with a teaspoon of salt. Can't be here a while. I am very much a guesstimator. Um, and I want you guys to remember that it is guided cooking. It is not set in stone. So you can definitely make changes to things to suit you and your family. Got a teaspoon of baking powder. Make it nice and light and fluffy. I'm going to pop our lid on. Hit that next button. And then this is what our guided cooking does. So it pre-programs it for you. So 10 seconds on our timer and turn speed selector around to three. So I'm just going to turn that down. And that is going to mix up our dry ingredients for us. If you have any questions, guys, make sure you're popping them in the chat box for me and I'll do my best to answer them. I see Summer has written, make a cafe style latte in your thermomix. Absolutely. 
So during lockdown, my husband became the Thermomix coffee guy, became a bit of a running joke. You can find the recipe in my Insta stories. That is the best cappuccino ever, he says. So now it wants 80 grams of light olive oil. Now that is light in taste, not light in calories. Um, I am going to use grapeseed oil because it's what I had in my pantry and grapeseed oil is a very light oil as well, so that is totally fine. Okay, don't be scared to make changes if you need to, but if you're in doubt, ask Google. Um, you know, if you do use a full-strength olive oil, that's probably not very it will be very heavy in flavour and it can overpower the wraps. So if you're not sure, just Google it and Google will always give you the answer for substitutions. I'm going 250 grams of warm water. Just go nice and slowly when you're moving your liquid, using your liquids, because if we go over, you can scoop it out, but it's a little bit harder. I'm going to go lid on and we're going two minutes on our kneading mode. So that little weep symbol is our kneading mode. Now, I hope you can sort of hear me okay. I'll just move back slightly so you can hear. Um, so two minutes of kneading in our Theramix is the equivalent of 20 minutes of kneading by hand. So I'd love to know, is anybody making breads or wraps or doughs of any kind at the moment? For those of you that have a Theramix in your thermo, for those of you that don't, is it something you can do by hand at the moment? Pop it in the chat and let us know. Okay, Checking if anyone's making any doughs at the moment. Lucinda says no, but I'd love to make my own. Definitely. Rachel's making pizza doughs. Awesome, Rachel. So you, oh, we've got a few coming in now. Um, Gluten-free bread, amazing. Gluten-free bread is so expensive, as some of you may know. So I love being able to make your own pizza. Love making different doughs. Never tried wraps. I do pizza. Ollie, and you'll have to try these wraps. Life change. And she's always making it. Rachel did a version of the wraps you're making a couple of nights ago. And we do pizza dough once a week. Amazing. Cinnamon scroll. Oh, yes, narisa has got me drooling now. Uh, so as you can see by some of those comments, you can make so many different doughs in your Thermomix. Pretty much any dough that you find in the shops, you can make in your Thermo for a fraction of the cost. And of course, you can um, alter the ingredients and know exactly what's going into your food. So for those of you that said healthy is really important to you and you have a little bit of a thing like me about your ingredients, then that's brilliant. For those of you that said saving money, being able to make doughs is a perfect way to start saving money when you have a thermos on your bench. So our doughs do all take around two minutes, some take slightly longer to knead, um, and then you'll leave it to cool and pop it into the oven. So I always like to think about all those beautiful things you can buy in Baker's Delight that cost an arm and a leg. Think cheese and bacon rolls, cheese and veggie mites rolls, finger buns, scones, you know, beautiful flavoured scones, all of those things you can make for a fraction of the cost in your Thermomix, which is brilliant. I nearly died the other day when I saw it was $3.90 for a cheese and veggie mites scroll. How do people afford that if they're buying a couple of weeks for their family? And in two minutes, our dough is done. It is soft, got a bit of stretch to it, and it is a little bit warm as well. Absolutely perfect. Now I'm going to grab out my thermo mat. Just over here. Right, I have quite a small bench in the room that I am in, um, and I have a lot of stuff going on out here. Just bear with me while I move everything around. So this one here is one of our thermo mats. Now our thermo mats are one of our other host rewards, um, which you can get when you host your own cooking experience. You can get the set of the two, or you can purchase them in the mix shop. Um, so, and they are absolutely brilliant. I highly recommend everybody owning a thermo mat. They make dough work so much easier. So flip your bowl upside down, grab your blades at the bottom and twist backwards and forwards until you feel it go quite loose. And that is your dough dropping off the blades. So we've got a little bit left on there. So I'm just going to pick out a chunk. Now you can see here, Aaron just said everyone needs a thermomat in their life. I actually own three. Sounds ridiculous, but I manage to use them all all the time. Another perk of being a consultant. Um, so you can see we've got a little bit of dough stuck in the blades. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my bowl back on with my lid on, hit my house button, wipe over to my modes and hit turbo. And I... 
I'm just going to do a one second turbo and then back to my bookmark of my recipe where I was. So turbo is our fast, hard chopping. So that has flicked all of the dough off the blades. And as you can see, now there is no wastage in there. It's easier for me to clean and I don't have to try to pick it off sharp blades. Grab a little bit of your other dough and just use your other dough to wipe around and collect the dough that is in there. It's going to make your life much easier. Now, our TM6 does actually have a self-clean mode, which is brilliant. It is um, over here in our modes page. So we have our pre-clean, which has four to five different modes of cleaning. So you can fill it with um, just enough water to cover the blades up to a litre, a dash of dishwashing liquid, and turn it on, and it will wash itself. So how many appliances do you have that actually clean themselves? Um, and your thermomix is also totally dishwasher safe. For those of you that have a TM6, are you putting it in the dishwasher? Let me know as a chat. Mine goes through the dishwasher most days. Love it. I wouldn't own one if it wasn't dishwasher safe. So I'm going to wrap my dough in my bread mat and I'm just going to fold my corners over and I'm going to keep it. Now, this one doesn't have any yeast in it, so it's not going to rise, but it is going to um, kind of just puff up slightly because it does have that baking powder in it. So our guide of cooking walks is through step by step. So transfer onto a silicon bread mat or flour work surface shape into a bowl. Wrap dough, leave to rest at room temperature for 15 minutes. So I'm going to leave that to rest. And then it does walk you through. So divide dough into 16 portions, roll out into approximately 25 centimetres, dusting with flour as needed. Place a large heavy based fry pan over medium high heat. I just remembered I left my fry pan inside. Place one tortilla into the pan and fry for approximately one minute or until tortilla bubbles and starts to brown. Turn tortilla over and fry for 30 seconds to one minute. Transfer into thermal serving bowl, a large plate and cover to keep warm. Repeat and then serve warm. And that is your tortillas. So it really does take you through step by step absolutely everything that you need to know. Now, while that is um, resting over there and growing nice and fluffy, I'm going to go back into my wheat. I'm going to switch out my bowl. I'm going to grab a one because I'm sure you guys don't want to watch me wash my bowl. Another one of the perks of being a consultant, I do have a second bowl, actually a third bowl as well, which makes my life nice and easy. Then we're going to bring up our beef fajitas. So again, guided cooking, scroll your finger up, get everything out that you need, which I've done over here, and then you can start your recipe. But what I'm going to do is I am going to use our Thermomix cutter to cut up the capsicum and the onion. So here we have our Thermomix cutter. Now, there are a heap of cutter recipes on Cookie Doo for you guys already. Um, this is an old recipe. It doesn't have the cutter, but it is something that you can definitely incorporate into your day-to-day -day meals. Um, like I just said, having a second bowl is a game changer, isn't it? So we have here our shaft. Always makes me laugh when I say that. I'm such a child. Which we are just going to pop straight down onto the top of the blades. We have our basket. Something that you'll notice that's really great about the basket is your bowl isn't dirty. So you can do all your prep work in your um, cutter, in your basket, and then just remove it and your bowl is clean and ready to go to keep moving on in your recipe. Then have our blade. So our blade is double-sided. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see here, but this one is the slicing side, side one, and it does have thick and thin. So thick is forward blade, thin is reverse blade. And or if you have a TM6, um, the cutter mode is available on the screen of your thermo as well. Then we have our grating. So thick grating and thin grating. So tonight we had the tacos and I grated carrot, zucchini, cheese, and then I sliced tomato. Um, did it all in like a minute and it was all absolutely perfect. It's such a game changer. So I'm going to go slicing and I'm going to go thick slicing for my onion and my capsicum. So I've got my lid and my blade. Make sure the side that you want is facing up. So I want slicing, so up. That one pops into there and into our basket. This is our cooker. We've got some really original names here, guys. No one, no one got too fancy with these. Our shark is on it right. There we go. And that all just compacts in nicely there. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to go back to my home screen. And I am going to go into my mode. So I want slicing. I've got some instructions here, which I have read, so I can say no, thank you. And then I've got thin and thick, so forward and reverse. If you have a TM5, 
the cutter is compatible. It's not compatible with the TM31 because of the size difference of the bowl, um, but you won't have the mode. So you do have to do it in manual mode. So I've got here my capsicum, which I am going to pop in one piece at a time. And I am going to go thick glade. I'm just going to get that there and just get me how it up. That is a whole capsicum sliced in, I don't know, what do you reckon that was, guys? Two seconds. Erin's just said she expects with the cutter. Oh, look at this, guys. Look at that perfectly sliced capsicum in just seconds. Isn't that amazing? What do you reckon? Would a Theramix cutter make your life easier? Tell me, guys, what kind of vegetables would you like to do if you had a cutter on your bench or if you've got one? If you'd like to get one, what do you think you'd, you'd put through it? I didn't know what I push it was and it was in there. I'm going to continue on. Let me know or let your consultant know what you'd be making in your cutter or what you have made if you already have one. So there's no need to um, push it hard. You're just literally guiding it down when you're using the sponge. And then again, look at that. So that's two capsicums perfectly sliced in just seconds. Now I'm not going to empty that basket because my onion can go through next. That is fine. They're all going to get cooked together. That is half an onion. Or a whole onion done in a matter of seconds with absolutely no tears. I love how much time this thing saved me. Look at this, guys. Look at that. Isn't that perfect? Perfectly sliced onion. Seconds. No tears, no stinky hands. Done. What do you reckon? Let me know what you think about that one in the comments. So I am going to pop them into our thermo server. Sorry, this is me leaning over you. This one here is our oval thermo server. This one is also one of our big popular rewards. And I'm going to pop this into here because that's going to be the first step of our recipe. That guys. I feel like this is something that can help you if you want to eat healthier because you can cut all these beautiful fresh um, veggies, fruits in just seconds. So you can help to incorporate those into your diet a little bit more. For those of you that are wanting to save money, it's a brilliant way to save money because you won't be um, buying as much pre-cut stuff. If you've ever noticed in the supermarket, pre-cut things are, are much more expensive, paying about double the price for convenience which I understand why a lot of us do that, but this is a brilliant way to stop buying the convenient thing and start buying the simple ones and being able to do it yourself in just seconds, saving you time, saving you money, and also your health. Um, now we're going to go in with our cheese. So the Thermomix can break cheese without the cutter attachment. One sec, sorry. So you can definitely break cheese already. So I'm just going to switch it over to our grating size. So it does break cheese in about seven seconds um, in your thermo. You can do 250 grams of cheese at a time. I like the way it breaks cheese. It just gives you like little like balls almost. But I have heard some people say they don't love the way it breaks the cheese. So I'm excited to show you. I just need to go back to my home and into our grating. Uh, so I'm excited to show you how it can grate, just like the bags of grated cheese. So I'm going to go thick grating. I've got my piece of cheese. Now that is just tasty cheese. You don't want to use soft cheeses because they will get mushed up, um, but tasty cheese does work perfectly. This is the second time I've grated cheese tonight. And look at that, guys. Literally like store-bought bagged grated cheese without any of the nasties. So grated cheese has anti-caking agents in it and they are lots of different nasty things and they are not very good for you. Grated bagged cheese is actually also double the price of a block of cheese. So a block of cheese has gone up recently uh, with everything. Uh, it's about $12 for a kilo block of cheese. And you're looking at um, double that to buy bags of grated cheese. So isn't that amazing? I'm seeing some great comments coming through. 
Let me just have a look what you guys are saying. I think this is selling the Thermomix for me. I need this cutter. Um, Stacey couldn't agree more. I The Thermomix does almost everything, but the cutter was something that it has never been able to do. So love that it is something that we can do now. Being able to slice and break like this is incredible. Um, onions, no more crying. Taco Tuesday made very easy. Sweet potato, scallop potatoes. Yes, imagine being able to slice two kilos of potatoes in a minute in your cutter. I would cut everything, especially onion and potatoes. Um, some of us with banana, orange, and apple work in the cutter. Absolutely, Summer. Um, definitely. So banana, as long as it's not too soft, Will, and orange. Uh, I haven't tried orange, sorry. Um, anyone from my team that's on here, have you tried orange? But apple definitely works as well. Um, Claire's excited to try the grated cheese effortlessly and won't be buying pre-packaged. It's fabulous. Marie's excited to get her cutter. Definitely cheese, onions, and potatoes. Um, Nick says her salads taste better with the cutter. I agree. It's like a sandwich that's made by somebody else. It always tastes better. I feel like it's the same thing. Um, Rachel has just asked, can you do it on the TM5? So the cutter is TM5 compatible. You just don't have the mode. Oh, thanks, Nick. Answered that. Um, awesome. Uh, yes, it does shred lettuce. I did shred lettuce last week, which was very, very cool. Um, so that is our cutter attachment. As I said, you can get one on post reward. That does end tomorrow. So thank you to anybody who did invite friends along tonight. Um, make sure you've got your consultant know so we can be in touch to organise that. Um, but it is something that you can earn as a Thermomix consultant um, and they will be available to purchase later in the year. Um, we are hearing April to May, uh, not confirmed yet, so we can let you know. Um, but for those of you that don't yet have a TM6, we do have an amazing deal starting to, uh, on the 1st, which is a um, you will be able to add on a cutter for just $99 when you purchase your TM6. So just a little buy-in bundle that you can choose. So if you haven't got a TM6, March is the perfect time to get one because all through March you will be able to add on a cutter for just $99. I did forget to say as well, starting tomorrow, we do have, starting on the 1st, sorry, we do have 36 months interest-free starting. So that gives you a longer period to pay off your thermo. So your weekly installments would be slightly less. It's around $16 a week. And I'd love if one of my girls could please confirm that for me in the chat box. That would be fabulous. So I'm going to go back into my week. Please remember to take out your shaft. We do not want to top that up. Back into our fajitas and start cooking. So um, this is asking you to grate the cheese the old way. So I've done that. So I'm going to skip. And then it is going to ask us to place a thermal serving bowl down to the top. And then weigh in 200 grams of cherry tomatoes cut into halves. I have cut them into half here. And then we're going to add in some lime juice. Now, for recipes like this, I use this pre-bought stuff because it is cheaper and I find it works just as well. Certain things I always use fresh lime, but that one I don't. Um, it also wants four sprigs of fresh coriander. I don't eat coriander. I think death to coriander. Let me know if you're with me or if you're a coriander lover. Let us know in the chat. Also wants a long red chilli, um, but I don't eat chilli. I am a massive sook, so I am just going to skip past that. As I said, it's guided cooking. It is not set in stone. It's not going to beep at me um, or anything like that. It is just going to let me to continue on with my recipe. So now we are going to add 30 grams of olive oil. Now, remembering that it is guided cooking, it's not set in stone. If you want to lower that amount, that is totally okay. I just realized I added my cherry tomatoes in with my veggies that need to be cooked. So I am just going to pluck them out. So give me a sec, guys. It's very silly of me. But cooking does save me from making silly mistakes in the kitchen. But when I am talking, sometimes I do get myself nice and distracted. And I'm just going to fish them all out. I do have clean hands, but it is just my family eating this. I wouldn't do this if I was cooking for you in your house, just so you know. All right, nearly done. I did not cut them too small. The um, onion and capsicum smell so fresh and beautiful. All right, so it wants 170 grams of our red onion cut into wedges, 180 grams of our red capsicum, and 180 grams of yellow capsicum. Now, I couldn't get yellow capsicum, so I have green, 
and I have my onion in here and I did fray free weigh it before. So I am just going to throw it straight into the bowl because I know that it is the right weight. There we go. Oops. We're all good doing that, all right? Clean my screen off. I can spill a little bit of juice on there. So now we're going to pop our lid on and we are going to move into our high heat mode. So our high heat mode is another one of our big game changers between the TM31, the TM5 and the TM6. So the TM6 does have high heat mode, which means it goes 40 degrees hotter than the older model thermomixes. Right, um, I'm going to grab my splash gun, this one here. I need to let it know that we are done. And then we have eight minutes on our maximum temperature. I'm just going to turn that dial. There's no speed on our high heat mode, and that is going to start. Now you will hear that the blades will stop moving. So our TM6 is the only model that has the ability to stop the blades, which does mean that we can slow cook, that we can do the high heat mode, um, we can ferment and things like that, which is great. They are some of our other new modes. So you'll hear in a minute that it will get really hot. So the blades stop moving. And it is essentially mimicking our fry pan and you standing there cooking at the fry pan. So it is stirring and then it is getting really hot and it's going to saute those bottom ingredients. Then it's going to stir it again and continuing sauteing. So for those of you that are really wanting to save time in the kitchen or in your life, this is a brilliant way to do it. Because I now have eight minutes where I can go and do whatever I need. Um, 36 months interest-free finance. I just saw a question pop up, not 40 months, sorry, 36 to so three years. Um, so your thermomix is all about getting your time back. So eight minutes is such a long time. If you guys are mums out there as well or dads, you would know just how long eight minutes is for a parent and how much we can get done in that time. I could be making school lunches. I could be getting the kids showered or bath, doing readers, or maybe I'm sitting on the couch drinking a glass of wine, doing whatever it is other than standing in the kitchen and stirring my dinner. Um, this mode is amazing. It adds so much extra flavor to your meals. As I said, it does go 40 degrees hot. It gets to 160 degrees, so mimicking that fry pan, which means that you can caramelize, you can saute, you can braise, you can brown, which is awesome. Things that you just can't do in the TM5 or the TM31. You will see when we do our beef as well, that it will perfectly cook our beef strips just like a fry pan would. So it's going to add that extra flavor by adding that car caramelization that we weren't able to get before, which is brilliant. Um, so we have six minutes there. So while that is happening, let me just move a few things out of the way for us. And we can roll out a couple of these tortillas, tortillas, whatever you like to call them, wraps, whatever it is. So I've got my thermomat. They have rested for long enough. I can feel that it's nice and warm. And I can see that it's puffed up a little bit. So it's looking really good. I'm really happy with that. Now, it did say to cut it into six pieces. When you're using a thermomat, make sure that you never use a knife on it. These do have fibers inside that are silicon on the outside. And if you use a knife on it and cut it, you do need to pop them in the bin just because it's not, um, it is no good. Uh, Tracy just said, can confirm you cannot slice oranges in the cutter. Thank you, Tracy. Um, I wonder if Tracy just went off and tried to do that. I'm intrigued. Um, so we have these little dough scrapers. They're like three dollars on the mix shop. <laughs> she did go and cut a slice of an orange. Love it. Um, these are three dollars on the mix shop. Treat yourself when you're doing your next order. They are really handy, but your spatula works perfectly as well. Um, so it did say sixteen. I tend to do about fourteen. I find they're a little bit small when I do sixteen. So the best thing to do is cut your dough in half. Half again. So I'm going to get about seven out of each. Half, which is a nice uneven number. Um, and then half again, half again, half again until you get the number that you are after, whether you were doing, you know, four, eight, 12, whatever it may be. Um, thank you, ladies. I can see you um, popping the interest free in there for me. And I really appreciate that. Um, so, my math. Uh, sorry, I'm not going to do it all because. I will um, actually pop this in a container overnight and I will make the rest of these wraps tomorrow so they're fresh for my family tomorrow night for our dinner. But we've got our ball. Now, your thermomat does have measurements on it, which is brilliant. So it makes life a little bit easier to get your um, doughs and pastries the right shape and size. So you want to grab a rolling pin. This is the French rolling pin from the mix shop. 
may sound ridiculous, but it honestly is the best rolling pin. And I swear it helps me to get rounder things than it did with my old rolling pin. Sounds dumb, I know. So we're just rolling it out. I said I'm a little tight for space here. Rolling, rolling. Um, your thermat is non-stick, so you shouldn't have to flour it too much. This dough's not overly sticky. You are finding that it is sticky. Um, pop a little bit of flour down and roll, roll. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would know that I do not roll round. I never have. It's not something that I can do. Tracy is our guru wrap maker. I should have made her come around to roll my wraps for me. And then... Oh, I did forget my fry pan. If somebody, some of you, one of one of you wonderful people in my team could just have a quick chat with everyone, I'm just going to grab my fry pan. Maybe tell them a little bit more about 36 months into spray for me, please. Okay, I don't know who's getting on. Is anyone? <laughs> you can do it, Tracy. <laughs> I can't even put myself as um have you got the um paperwork as host um 36 months interest free so yes you go try some with the kids getting to bed um I think Chelsea covered most of it anyway and yes I did want to make sure when I said that orange I thought would be too soft I did just race out and get my cutter out to try that for you so unless you did just want the outside um, skin of the orange, the rest pretty much just juiced up. I guess if you could, if you froze it or something maybe um, and just made it that bit harder, perhaps it might work. A lime, Sarah, is a bit more um, harder than a nice juicy orange. So, um, but yeah, didn't want to give false information. So yes, I did run off and do that. And yes, it is absolutely killing me watching Chelsea roll that. Um, you know what? I'm pretty impressed. I think that's pretty round, guys. What do you reckon? Give me a score out of one to ten here. <laughs> I feel like you can't be too mad at me for that one, Tracy. I feel like that was pretty good. Thank you for trying the orange and thank you for chatting to around for me. No so I do have, oh, it's got a nine. Thanks, guys. I, yes, awesome. Thank you, guys. You're welcome back anytime. So I'm going to pop it in my fry pan. I do have my fry pan heating. I don't have a cooktop out here. So I do have one of these great little camping stoves that belongs to my husband. In his boat. Oh, nine. Come on, Tracy. Don't be mean. So you want about a medium heat. And we're just going to throw it into our fry pan. We're going to let it bubble up. Now, the first one's never that good. If you guys make um, pancakes, you would know your first pancake's always a little bit of a dud. It's why you're getting the heat right in the fry pan. So your first is kind of like your test subject. Roll, roll. Keep rolling. You can see I've got some bubbles forming already, which is great. So you want your bubbles to form nicely. You can get some really nice, big, beautiful air bubbles. And that's something the store-bought ones just don't have. This one is terrible. This is like a two out of ten over here. Um, but we're not we're not going on on looks, guys. It's all about the taste, right? It's more authentic and homemade. Um, so you, you want to get some big, nice air bubbles. You just don't get in these floorboard wraps and it adds so much flavour to them and softness as well. Yeah, I'm definitely giving myself a two out of 10 over here. So we are looking great here. And then a little bit of browning going on there, which is beautiful. And we're just going to give that one a little bit longer. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. I don't know how hot it is. This cooktop, yes. And that is nearly done. Turn it down a little bit, that is very hot. Your second side never needs, it needs as long. So you just want those few little spots of browning. And then we are going to pop these into our thermo server. So I do have the oval and the round. The round is perfect for wraps. It's going to sweat them slightly and keep them really soft and flexible, um, which is exactly what you want. If you don't have a thermo server, as I said, you can host a cooking experience to get one, um, or you can use a plate and pop a towel, tea towel over it. So that wrap is great. I'm going to throw this next one in. Of course, I folded it over a little. I do this much better when there's no one watching me. 
Uh, and that, guys, is our flower tortillas. Tell me what you think. Do you think that's something that you could make at home if you had a thermomix on your bench or do you think that's something that you will make now if you have it before and you already have a thermomix on your bench? Put in the chat and let me know. I'm going to let that one bubble away and we're going to continue with our recipe. Most definitely we will be making these amazing. I love hearing that. Now our fajitas, our capsicum and our onion have sauteed perfectly. It's still it's a bit hard to see, so I hope you can see that, okay? My light's not very bright tonight. Um, our capsicum and our onion still has beautiful colouring on it. We've got a little bit of browning going on down there, which is great. That's adding all that extra flavour. And they look beautiful. They've still got their colour. And then it does say transfer into the thermo server with your cherry tomatoes. So that is what I was doing before. I was just a little bit ahead of, ahead of myself, guys. So I apologise for my mishap. I'm going to flip these around. All right, so straightening it into our thermo server with our cherry tomatoes and our lime juice. And your coriander if you like it, and your chili. So this is just going to soften our cherry tomatoes slightly as well, warm them up. I'm going to give that a stir. Yum. I'm excited for dinner tomorrow already. And then I'm going to put my thermo server lid on and that is going to stay warm while we finish the recipe. Now our other tortilla is done. So they really don't take long to cook. we got some nice bubbles going in this one here. You can see those big, beautiful air bubbles. You can pop those if you like. I like to leave them. Um, but look at that. They are so, it's a bit hot, but they are so soft and flexible. They do not go hard at all. They don't break on you. They are absolutely perfect and delicious. I'm going to throw that one into my thermo server as well to stay warm. And as I said, we will keep moving. Um, so we're going to go with a teaspoon of onion powder. Now, I don't have onion powder. I have onion granules. Again, near enough is good enough, guys. And again, if you've watched me cook before, you'd know that I don't like to measure I don't get a teaspoon out. I'm just a guesstimator. Two and a half teaspoons of ground cumin. Two and a quarter. That looks about right. Some coriander ground. Same thing, two and a quarter. I always feel like you can't have too much spices, right? Too much flavour. And paprika. And I love paprika, so don't be shy. And then some salt. And some pepper. Now, 40 grams of extra olive oil. Now, we did use quite a bit of oil before, so I'm just going to go a little bit less now. This is like the marinade for our meat, so you do need the oil, but you can reduce it slightly if you want to. And then we have one minute on 100 degrees on speed one. So we are just warming that beautiful marinade up and mixing it all together. Then we're going to add our meat into that. One of the other great things about the TM6 is you can actually hit the preview button. So hit preview and you can see what your next step is. So our next step is going to be 350 grams of beef fillet into strips. And then stir with spatula to coat. And then we're going to go back into our high heat mode. So please let me know if you have any questions at all about anything we've been through tonight so far. Um, I'm just checking our comments again. My daughter says 10 out of 10. Thank you, Claire. Your daughter is my new best friend. I really appreciate that. Uh, and, yep, Sarah, that was a dry fry pan. No oil needed as long as you've got a non-stick. Not oil at all, just a nice dry fry pan. Leanne says, I'm trying them tomorrow night. Amazing. Please let me know how you go, Leanne. Rachel's going to make them. Also let us know how you go. Taco Tuesday, perfect. My eight-year-old is excited to make these. That's brilliant. Another thing that I love about my Thermomix is the ability to get the kids in the kitchen. If you do have kids or grandkids or whatever it may be, getting them involved in cooking is a great way to help them learn about cooking um, and get some skills going and also give you a little bit of a break. All right. So we're going to go in with our 350 of our beef, which is here. So I, it says beef fillet steak. Um, don't use anything too fancy. I just use rump, just the market rump. 
It's the cheaper version and it is absolutely perfect for this. I've just got it cut very roughly. Uh, I'm a little bit over there, but I think that will be okay. Let's make sure. Sometimes the high heat mode doesn't like it when you go over, but I think as long as I spread it out nicely, it will be okay. Obviously, you don't want to go too much over because it does need to be able to cook it. If you overfill, you know, if you put too much meat in, it's not going to cook evenly. This is red meat, so it's not as bad if it's, I don't mind it when it's a little bit um, rare. So it depends how you like it. All right. So we're going with our flash guard back on the top. And again, we've got eight minutes on that high heat mode. And I'll just turn that dial and that will start. Now that is going to cook our meat. And that will be after heat is done. So while that's happening, I'm going to jump over to my computer and I am going to take you through how Cookie Do works and a little bit of its amazingness. Just going to change my audio so you can hear me. All right, I hope you guys can hear me all right. I've just jumped over here and I'm going to share my screen with you. Tell me, for those of you that already have a Thermomix, are you loving Cookie Do? Is it something that you are using? I love it so much. I have a tab saved on my computer. So this is Cookie Do. Um, it is the most incredible platform. You've heard me talk quite a lot about it tonight. I absolutely love it because it saves me time. It saves me a lot of money by doing a meal plan. Um, it saves us. It gets us really creative. It saves us from going insane eating the same five dishes every week. Um, but I'd love to know, are you guys meal planners? Um, is that something that you do? I know I can see Tracy's head and I know she's going to say, no, she's not a meal planner. I'm a meal planner. Love to meal plan. It just makes my life so easy. I'm too busy to try to think of what to eat you know, when I get home from work. So I love that I can do this. So Cookie Do does work on the screen of your Thermomix. It works on um, your phone and then, of course, on your computer as well. You log in with the one the one email and it will sync to each other. Uh, Tracy plans in the car bar. Gabby says Cookie Do is a game changer for me and Leanne says, oh, my God, the best. Um. So Cookie Do is there to make your life that little bit easier. You can also have other people in your household logged into the account as well so they can um, pop meal plans and shopping lists together too. So we've got our search bar, letting you know we've got some maintenance going on so it's always being updated to make sure it's working to its best. So it will be out for a couple of hours tomorrow morning. So guys, keep that in mind. We've got our latest recipe. So there is a new chili cookbook. I saw this was released today and I died a little bit inside because I'm a baby and I don't eat chili. But if you love chili, there's a new cookbook here for you. We've got some different bits and pieces. Cookie Do will recommend dishes that it thinks you're going to like, just like Netflix will, which is amazing. And down here we have our most cooked. So our most cooked is brilliant because it actually changes every few days based on what people all around Australia are making in their Thermomix. So at the moment, we we obviously had just had a weekend because espresso martinis and mango daiquiris and pizza dough and buttercream icing. So very much entertaining dishes there. But that's a great place to come to to get a little bit of inspo um, because it does change all the time. Now, I'd love if someone could tell me what is your absolute favourite thing to eat? What do you guys love to eat? It might be something that you cook at home with a the thermo, without a thermo, something that you love to order takeaway at a restaurant. Give me some ideas. Summer's travelling on holidays by car to Vic to Queensland next week for two weeks and the thermo has priority seating in the back seat of our car. Love that. All right. So Lucinda likes a creamy pasta and sushi. You can definitely make sushi in your thermo. Ramen, nice. So when I pop in pasta, we have about 2,000 things resulting to pasta. Now, that's quite a broad search. You can definitely narrow that down using filters, um, but we've got a spaghetti carbonara, which is beautiful. You can have a little look and see what kind of cream things we've got. Um, I know there's a beautiful Alfredo on here. Um, lots and lots of different pastas there. I um, also saw ramen come in. I wonder if ramen, here we go. I've never had ramen before. We have a lot of ramen that you can make in your Thermomix. Um, and this would be a brilliant one to switch from buying takeaway to making in your Thermo, saving you lots of money there. Um, so ramen noodle soup, Japanese ramen noodle, pork belly ramen, tofu ramen. 
um, Japanese ramen. I'm, I'm not sure how to pronounce that one. Korean, so lots of different options there. So when you have lots of different options, I would go for one that has the best rating. So this one here has 114 results and it's got a four and a half star rating. So I'm going to click on that one. And so you guys can rate cookie do recipes when you love them or if you don't, give them really honest ratings. And you can add this into your weekly planner. So I'm going to have this on Wednesday. So you can see here, and what you can actually do is you can alter the serving. So if you're a small family, just yourself at home, whatever it may be, you can alter recipes to smaller. Or if you're a large family cooking for a crowd, you can definitely alter things bigger as well. So that's a brilliant function we have. So I've added that one to my weekly planner. Um, what else did I see? I saw curry come through there. So if I just pop curry in again, a very broad search, 505 different curries in English language. So we have beautiful things like tandoori paste and red, oh, we've got a beef curry ticker paste. So you can start by making those staples, garam masala, and then you can move into your main dishes. Um, I, we've got fish curry, tandoori chicken, looking for one that I have made before that I know is great. I haven't made many of these ones. Um, here we go. Our creamy coconut chicken curry is one of my favorite recipes. It's got 4.6 ratings there. So we can add that to our week as well. You can have that tomorrow. Now, guys, hit me with your favorite dessert. What's your favorite dessert? What do you love? Well, Summer says smoothie bowls with multiple toppings. Amazing. You can definitely make beautiful smoothie bowls in your thermo. You can also make your own peanut butter and cashew butter in your thermo too. So another brilliant money saver. Sarah has said sticky date, so I'm going to run with that. A few people have said sticky date there. Um, Lucinda's asked, can you search by a paleo, gluten-free, dairy-free, et cetera? I eat none of these asking for a friend. <laughs> um, 100% you can. So we have filters here. And you can filter through um, the dish that you're looking for. So, you know, mains, pastas, sides, salads, baking, whatever it may be. You can also search for tags. So you can search gluten-free. And we have gluten-free sticky date puddings here. Uh, so you can use your tags for lots of different things like paleo, like gluten-free, like keto, um, vegetarian. You can do uh, dairy-free. All of those great things are available in the filters there. So sticky date pudding, we have a couple of different sticky date puddings. This one here is my ultimate favorite. So this sticky date pudding, it has 985 ratings and a 4.9. So you know it's going to be amazing. I'm a bit of a sticky date connoisseur and this is hands down the best sticky date you will ever eat. Um, no word of a lie. If you've never made it, please do. If you don't have a Thermomix, please buy one and just make sticky date pudding for the rest of your life. You will not regret it. Um, so I'm going to add this one to my week and we're going to have that today because why not? Again, you can change those portion size. So you can feed 18 for that one. Uh, now, when we go into our weekly planner, Summer's just said, I love looking for dinners that are under 30 minutes. Thank you, Summer. I didn't say that. You can actually also filter by time. So for those of you that are wanting to save time, that is a time filter. It's actually also a budget meal filter. So if you are wanting to save a lot of money, that's a great one to use too. So back into that weekly planner, you can see my dishes there. And then I'm going to add this to my shopping list. Going to add our curry to my shopping list, our ramen noodles to my shopping list. Then over here is our shopping list. So I'm going to show ingredients. And here it collates me a shopping list. So this is how you save money with Cookie Do because it shows you exactly what you need. So there's no buying things, no standing in the supermarket going, oh, do I need this? Here you can know exactly what you need. Um, so you can mark off things that you've already got. So I know I have almond meal. Well, I don't have almond meal, but I have almonds. So I can milk my own almond meal in just a few seconds. I've got bicarb, I've got brown sugar. I'm going to need date. I so don't need to buy water. Um, so you can just mark off any of the things that you already have and leave on the things that you don't yet have. So this is the what I need. And then down here, I can say I need toilet paper, whatever else I might need. Here are the things that we marked off and here are the things that you need. Now, this is our shopping list. So you can head to the supermarket. You can have your phone or your iPad and it will be automatically on there. You can send it to someone, email it, whatever it may be, or my absolute favorite. Do we have any online shoppers here? Do we love to do online groceries? So when I click this order ingredients button, let me know in the chat, order ingredients. It actually takes me over to our third party wish. Let's me make sure I'm happy with my brands. And then we can order directly to Woolies online. So yep, have got a couple of you saying that you love online shopping. So here we go. I can change. I don't want that brand. I buy home brand flour because it's much cheaper and I use a lot of it. So I'm going to switch to home brand. 
Um, it knows that I buy home brand because it does tend to um, pick most things for me. But I can go through and I can make sure that I am happy with the brands that I am buying. So free range eggs, perfect. But this cream, I'm going to switch that. I am lactose free. So I'm going to switch to a lactose free cream. So go through and make your changes. Make sure you're happy with what you have changed to. Has given me organic thigh. Um, as much as I would like to buy that, I'm just going to go the deli thigh because that's going to save me a little bit of money at the moment. And then when you hit add to Woolies cart, that is literally going to add all of those things into your Woolworths online cart. Then you can add in your extras like your milk, your bread, your apples, whatever you buy each week. And that is your grocery shopping done. So for those of you that already have a Thermomix, is this something that you're using? And for those of you that don't yet have a Thermomix, do you think that that's something that you might like, something that could save you time or money? Pop it in the chat and let me know. Kirsty says, I can't tell you the last time I actually did a shop in a shop, online shopping all the way. I live 15 minutes to the closest Woolies. So for me, 30 minute round trip just to get my groceries without actually shopping. I can do a week's meal plan um, and order my groceries in less than that. So I know what I like to do. If you have any questions about Cookie Doo, please pop them in the chat or ask your consultant because we would love to answer them for you. I'm just going to switch my audio again. All right, hopefully you can hear me okay. So our high heat mode has finished cooking and look at that. We have perfectly cooked our beef. Sorry again, that line is not great tonight. I'm not sure what's going on with my ring light. It's a bit dull, but look, it is perfect. Um, we've got a bit of our juices in there like you would get in the pan. It smells absolutely amazing. I mean, cook perfectly. And the best part is it was hands free. Now it wants us to stir in to combine. So we're going to pop it in with our veggies. I'm going to go and knock that off. Now this is a perfect fake away meal as well. Buying fajitas in a restaurant would set you back about $25 a person. This whole dish, which would feed um, four to six people, depending, um, is a fraction it will be less than that for one person. Here we have our beautifully cooked beef. Um, it is cooked perfectly and our veggies in there ready to go. So transfer into bowl and then serve fajita with tortillas, baby cost lettuce. I don't do lettuce with my fajitas. I think that's a bit weird. Um, shred your, your cheese uh, and your sour cream. And that is your beautiful meal done. So we've done our tortillas and we've done our fajitas in about 40 minutes and that was with a lot of my talking as well so what do you think guys is that something that you'd like to make if you do already have a thermomix or if you did have a thermomix on your bench pop it in the chat and let us know we are nearly done so thank you so much for sticking around i tend to run over and i do apologize i just have too much to say got about five minutes left and then we'll be all finished please keep any questions coming into that chat box here or with your consultant so our thermomix has over 20 different modes and functions. Some of the things that we haven't seen today that I do love are our steam function. So I did talk about our Varoma and our layered cooking, which I love. Emulsifying. So we can make things like whole egg mayonnaise, garlic egg only in just a matter of seconds, 90 seconds to be precise, which is incredible, tastes amazing, much cheaper than store-bought as well. Um, and then mincing. So you can actually mince meat in your thermomix. So in about 10 seconds, you can mince 500 grams of chicken or beef so another huge money saver for you there. We've been talking quite a lot about Cookie Doo today and we have just been through how amazing it is. So Cookie Doo is a subscription service. Now you all can sign up if you don't have an account. You can sign up for a free 30-day trial right now. www.cookidoo.com.au. Please ask your consultant how to take your um, Australian filter off so you can access all of the recipes worldwide. Australia, we have about 3,500, which is great, but worldwide, we do have over 80,000. Um, and then you will get six months for free when you purchase a Thermomix if you don't yet have one. So seven months to try Cookie Doo out and fall in love before you pay $69 a year, which is about $1.33 a week. So that is a pretty great investment when you think about all the things that you can do for you. We've been talking quite a lot about host rewards tonight. So again, please reach out to your consultant or let us know if you are interested in hosting your own. We do lots of group opens, but you can also have us in your house or virtually. Um, and 
invite along a couple of friends and you are, can be eligible for some of our beautiful host rewards. Uh, as I said, that cutter is ending tomorrow, but we do have the thermo servers and the bread mats available all the time. So definitely something you want to get your hands on cheap or free. Uh, we do just require that you have at least one non-owner there just to help us expand our businesses. Leanne's asked if we can do a demo, demo on the Varoma one day soon. We absolutely can. We can look at doing some classes for the Varoma. Love my Varoma. Um, hate when I meet people that don't use it. Some people are scared of it. So um, a Varoma class sounds like a brilliant idea. Let us know in the chat if you'd like to come along to a Varoma class as well. Now, if you do choose to buy a Thermomix off someone in my branch, we really are here to support you every single of the way. It is really important to us that you get the most out of your Thermomix. So as I said tonight, I am pretty obsessed with mine and I do want to make sure that you are all going to be obsessed with your Thermomix too. So you are welcome to have us back for as many cooking experiences as you like. Um, as long as you're bringing a few new people for us to meet, uh, we will continue coming to cook for you and helping you learn more about your Thermomix and collect all those great freebies. Um, when your Thermomix arrives, your consultant will do a delivery with you. Now, that may be on FaceTime, it may be in person, depending. Um, and we will help you to unbox the Thermomix, set it up, make sure you're feeling really comfortable with it, get you to cook the veggie stock paste, answer any questions that you have as well. We do run cooking classes. So my branch do Zoom classes. We have a couple that run every month. You are welcome to follow um, us on Instagram if you're not already to see or Facebook to see our classes or you can always reach out and ask when they are going to be on because we do constantly have free classes running on Zoom as well. Then, of course, we do do these demos like this too. Um, and then from there, we are here to support you every step of the way. So I've always said to my customers over the years, you know, if you're cooking and you're unsure about something, you need help with the recipe, you've got questions, whatever it may be, please always reach out to me because I'm always here to help you to make sure that you are going to get the most out of your demo needs. Now, thinking back to the start of the demo, I did ask you what was most important to you when it came to food and cooking. So we had healthy, simple, fast, creative and saving money. Some of you guys did answer in the chat box for us, and I did love seeing those come through. But I'd love to know now and answer here or with your consultant when um, whatever it was that you said, healthy, simple, fast, creative or saving money. Do you think that a Thermomix could help you with that if you don't yet have one? Or is it helping you with that if you do currently have one? Let us know. Now, back to our price page, the price of the Thermomix is $2359, and it is that all-inclusive package. And again, we would have all those different payment options to help you get a Thermomix on your bench if that is what you would like to do. Again, my favourite is that you can join us um, and you can earn yourself a Thermomix, a great way to get a Thermomix on your bench without actually having to outlay the money for it. Or you can come along as an owner and join us. We have a lot of fun. Uh, it's a really great place to meet new people, connect, feel inspired, um, earn some great commission and get a heap of freebies along the way as well. So if you would like any more information on that, please let your consultant know, pop in the chat box here if you don't have a consultant and we can give you some more info. We do run obligation-free business information sessions on Zoom, so we can get you on one of those if you would like. Um, and then that interest-free finance. So we always run 24 months, which is $24.56 a week. And we do have through March, we are running 36 months interest-free, which is um, $16.96 a week, I think is what I saw Vic say. So thank you very much for that info, um, which is about $2.40 a day. So that is crazy cheap and a really great way to get a Thermomix on your bench with being able to pay it off in installments if that is what you would prefer to do. Then we have Afterpay, so four payments over um, two months, eight weeks. And then we have our Easy Three, which is three payments over 60 days. Um, and then that one is done through Thermomix. And then we have our one-off payment as well, PayPal, PayPal credit card, bank transfer, whatever works for you. Um, just to give you a little bit of an idea, we've talked a lot about saving money with your Thermomix tonight. Uh, for me, my biggest money saver has been yogurt in our household. So when my son was a baby or you know, a toddler, he was yogurt obsessed. We were spending almost $30 a week on yogurt. I upgraded my TM31 to the TM5 at the time because you couldn't make yogurt in the 31. And I started making my own yogurt and I went from spending nearly $30 a week to about $3 a week. So my interest-free finance was covered just in my yogurt saving alone. That's not even counting all the other ways that I save money off my grocery bill with my Thermomix. So I know my Thermomix paid for itself in a very short amount of time, which is brilliant. And at the moment with the cost of living rising, it is so nice to be able to reduce your grocery bills and save a little bit of money in some areas. 
Um, the average Thermomix family is expected to save around $40 to $60 a week off their grocery bill. Just by changing up a few of those things that we've been talking about tonight, as I said, you'll probably get less takeaway because there's so much variety and it's just so simple as well. Um, and then we have our mix shop, which we've been talking about as well, which is thermomix.com.au slash shop. And that is where you can buy some of our great accessories. You do get everything you need when you purchase your Thermomix, but we do sell things like bread tins, dumpling molds, donut tins, like you name it, you can get it on there. So you are welcome to have a little browse on there as well. Please make sure you select your consultant at checkout if you do purchase some things. We really appreciate that. Now, that is the end of my demonstration. I would absolutely love for you guys to ask me any questions that you may have or ask your consultant because we would love to answer them. Anything that we've covered or anything that we didn't cover tonight, I would love to hear. So pop them in the chat box, guys. And we have our beautiful flower tortillas. They're pulled down and they are still, look how soft they are. Absolutely delicious. They smell heavenly as well. And then we have a beautiful fajita mix over here too, which smells absolutely heavenly. And I'm very excited for our dinner tomorrow night. So if you do have a TM6, please make this recipe. Um, if you don't yet have a Thermomix, we would love to chat to you more about how you can get one on your bench, how you can make beautiful meals like this in such a short amount of time for a fraction of the cost. I'm just going to check if we have any comments coming in. Thank you, Lucinda. I really appreciate that. And thank you, Beck. Um, I really appreciate your positive feedback. So thank you. It's been a while since I did a demo. So I was worried I was going to be a bit rusty. Um, uh, any questions, please let them come through. And so thank you, everybody, for coming along tonight. As I said, if you don't yet have a TM6 and you would like to get one, someone will be in touch with you if you um, would like or you can reach out to your consultant and they would love to help you get a Thermomix on your bench. That's it for tonight. Um, thank you to everybody who invited some friends along. Again, please be in touch with your consultant and we can sort out your host rewards once we follow up with your guests and see what they thought tonight. And thank you so much for coming along. And I do apologise that I ran a little bit over time. I hope that you learned some great tips tonight um, and I hope that you enjoyed watching me cook. So thank you again, everybody, and we will see you soon.